friends welcome back to this session so in this session we are going to discuss and understand the build and push process of the docker image to the jprog artifactory so we'll go by step by step in this session so what steps involved in this session so basically we will handle the prerequisitions uh, that docker set up over the system then we'll go to create a jprog artifactory uh, then we'll do the login over the jprog artifactory registry uh, through the CLI, then we'll do the build and tagging of the Docker image. We'll do the push of Docker image to JPROG Artifactory. And last, we will validate the JPROG Artifactory uh, image has been pushed or not. So let's move. So right now, I'm in the JPROG uh, Artifactory. So there is no any uh, repositories available. So we're going to create a fresh new repository here. So I'm just creating the new repository. I'm taking the pre-built setup given by the JPROG part only. So we'll select the repository type here docker we'll select here and then we'll give the name of our repository so let's give the name is the docker example so i'm just giving the name of the docker example of the my repository here you can see this is a prefix here local repository will create a docker example docker dash local remote repository will give the docker example dash docker dash remote and your virtual repository name is the docker example dash docker so i'm just creating here so this will create uh, all your repository here. So you can see repository created successfully here. JPROG will guide how you want to do execution. So you can do, if you want to do later, no problem. If you want to continue, it will give you the instruction how you can do. So there is a different tool. So basically we are going to use the Docker client. If you want to use a different tool like Jenkins, GitLab and any other, you can go with the different tools here. So right now we are going with the Docker client on the system. So I'm just creating here. So basically you want to log in first, you are in system. So that's the first part. So basically you have to log in in uh, JFrog Artifactory here. Our name is this one. Uh, let me go to my CLI here. This is the Docker file I have already created. So first we have to log in part handle. So let me take the command here. So I'm just copying this command. So you can generate your password from here. This is the API token that will be created for your user. I'm just copying this token here, passing here. And this will log in your, in your JFrog Architectory. So login part is completed. Let me clear the screen. Now let's go with the build and post part. So let's give the build part here. So I'm just giving the command docker build minus t. So we are giving with, with the build itself, we are giving the name here. And I'm just giving the my URL of and the app. So here I'll give the name. So docker example of virtual repository and the name of our app is the my app. If you don't give the here the tag, that is also fine. I'm just removing the tag also. So this will make the latest tag by default. So this is the building part here. Then let's go with the post after this one. Okay, so image has been built successfully. Let me clear screen. Let's go with the same command with the post, docker post. And let me remove the dot. This will the push the same image what we have prepared here. So this is basically pushing the image to the JFrog artifact. You can see it's a simple, there is simple steps, Docker push, Docker tag, and Docker build. The important part is your login part. So your registry should be login from your Docker CLI. Okay, so push part is done. Let's go to the uh, repository to cross check whether uh, image is push or not. Okay, let me close this one. Let me go from the application side. I'm just refreshing this part here. Okay, you can see the new image is put here. The my app you can see here. And once you click here, it will go inside. You can see it's taken the default tag. So this is the, our image which we have pushed from the uh, Docker CLI, what we have built here. If you want to pull the same image, you can copy this command. It will do the same Docker pull and the rest is the same what our image name. So if you want to do pull, I'll try to pull here also. So this will pull your image from the JPROG Artifactory. Okay, so now you can see it's pulled here. 
So this is all about how we can build image, how we can push image to JPROG, and how we can pull the same image from the JPROG. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.